Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your weekly reading for August 13th to the 19th. Now, typically my readings are love readings, we'll just see whatever comes up. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now remember, if this reading feels like it's yours, it's yours. If it feels like it's not yours, then it's not yours. You know, if it doesn't resonate, it's just not mad for you. Aries, what does Aries need to know? Strength, courage, confidence, willpower. Mm. Lack of faith in something, though. It's like lack of reconciliation, finding the strength to release or hold on. Ooh, the devil. Two of Cups. Two of Cups. So there's a partnership here. There is a partnership. There's a union. There's there's a lot of desire. Yep, there is. There's a lot of desire. There's a lot of... Um, well, it's major. Whatever it is, out of these four cards, we have three major cards. So whatever is happening is big. Okay. I feel as though you may need some sort of courage to release maybe an addiction or a temptation or something. Yeah, that's what it looks like. You're going to need the courage to release something that is not good for you. But you may have help, so that's good. Um, whatever this is. You know, you do have a Leo here, too. You could be dealing with a Leo. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpios. You're holding on to something. And, and that's this one. I wasn't sure if it was released or holding on. Trying to hold on to the light or trying to hold on to the happiness. Trying to keep it. Resisting a change, but not feeling emotionally fulfilled in a partnership. Interesting. Yeah, you are holding on, aren't you? That just cleared it right up. The hangman. That absolutely cleared up any in any you know thought of it not holding on. You guys are holding on to something. It's almost like you're holding on for dear life. To something that isn't good for you. The devil doesn't bring good things. You are definitely, it doesn't really fulfill you emotionally. It, it's a mask, okay? It is a mask. Oh, the world card reverse. Loneliness, emptiness, lost. Not wanting to complete this chapter, but the time is now. Okay? There's a chapter, a phase that needs to end. This is the end of a phase, the end of a cycle. No resurrection, but holding on, not wanting it to end, but it needs to end. You need to see this from a new perspective. You're going to have to struggle through it to find, to see the light, to, to have the ultimate happiness. You're going to have to find the strength to free yourself from whatever this is that doesn't serve you and that you know what it is. Could be an addiction, could be smoking, could be drugs, could be sex, could be anything. Could be a partner. I don't know. Either way, there is something here that is inhibiting you from reaching your fullest potential, reaching your fullest happiness. It's like there's there's no... You guys are definitely holding on to something that doesn't have a chance. It's like there's no chance of it turning around. Okay, it's not. The world isn't turning. It's, it's not going to turn around, whatever this is. Oh, Six of Cups clinging, clinging. You guys are absolutely clinging to the memories, clinging to the past, holding on. Holding on to something, some connection. It could be a love. It could be an old partnership. I don't know, but whatever this is, there's absolutely lack of relationship growth. There's the, no love here, or the love has dissipated, or somebody's not emotionally available. And the other person, or both of you, or somebody, isn't able to complete this cycle, but they need to. 
They need to stop hanging around. Stop clinging to this past. Or the memories. Somebody is holding on to a lot of memories. In regards to a partnership or a union or something. Let's get some clarifiers. It's like you guys are stuck. You are stuck. You know, you don't want this change, but this, you don't want the change. I see that you don't want the change, but this, whatever it is that you're hanging on to is not healthy. It's not. Let's clarify this, whatever it is you're hanging on to up here. There could be some resentment, there could be some bitterness, there could be some past hurt, somebody hurt you really, really bad and you're having a hard time letting it go because it, it really cut like a knife. I feel as though, you know, there is some, maybe people are even talking about you behind your back, if they see what's going on. It's like you're only hurting yourself, I'm not sure. You may be feeling, I mean, there's, it's, it's almost like a, a stabbing kind of pain. You know, it is. I keep seeing the swords. I don't know where this is coming from. It's like there's a lot. There's pain here. And maybe that's what you're holding on to, the pain. Somebody is in denial. You're at a crossroads, but you're going to have to face your fears. And you're totally resisting it. It's like you don't want to face your fears. You don't want to take that shield off. You don't, you don't want to accept whatever this is. Somebody is in denial about something, trying to avoid it, blocking the truth. Hanging on to something in limbo. Lacking the strength, okay? You need to find the strength to take this mask off and accept whatever this is. And there's a lack of strength to do so because when you do take the mask off and you accept whatever this thing is, it ch things change. Life changes. When you accept whatever this is, life changes. And that might hurt. <laughs> okay, so, you know, I mean, what more? I mean, I, you know, it's clear cut. Something needs to go. Something needs to end. It's over. It's time for a transformation. It's time for a new beginning. It's time to release and allow this transition to happen, whatever it is, so that you can find happiness, so that you can find a commitment, so that you can find content in your life, so that you can be happy. Yeah, somebody isn't making the, I mean, right judgment call. They're not. Somebody does not want to accept the truth. And that, I mean, look at what's in the middle of both of these judgment cards. Denial. Both the judgments are reversed. Somebody does not want to see the truth or hear the truth, even though the truth is here. Okay, the truth is here. It's going to be revealed. The secret's going to come out. It's going to happen. It is going to happen. Okay. Somebody is going to have a wake-up call sooner or later. Refusing to open your eyes and become aware is only causing you more pain. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lack of abundance. There's a lack of, of stability, okay, and security here. Whatever it is that you're hanging on to, it's like there's no more content i'm not happy with where i'm at i don't i don't want to be alone i don't want to be alone but i'm not happy here either i'm not happy i'm not happy maybe yeah that somebody don't want to accept the truth that's the damn truth <laughs> okay somebody you know it's time to stop being in denial refusing this this truth this is what's going on I'm, i refuse i refuse i refuse to see this clearly somebody is not seeing something clearly even though they they are deep down but you know they're choosing not to see something wanting some sort of resurrection or another chance that isn't feasible it's an addiction of some sort could even be codependency you know or let's see 
there's a lack of willpower, a lack of discipline, a lack of, of forward movement. Somebody is unable to master their emotions, to move forward in a different direction. But, but the very first card says you must, you must find the strength. You must to accept whatever this is that you are in denial about. You must struggle through this with that hangman. You must let go and see this from another person's eyes, from a new perspective. You know, it's time for you to come out of this difficult period. It is time for you to see the light. It is time to, for you to start feeling secure again. Right now, you're in a situation that is not stable. It is not secure, and it is not long-term. Whatever it is, I do not know. But this is not positive. It's not a positive situation, whatever it is. Somebody has to really, you know, your intuition is giving you the answers, but you're, you're I mean, look what's right underneath this card. Your intuition is telling you, but somebody is refusing to listen. There's something going on. There's a secret here. There's a there's a there's an inner knowing about something that I don't really want to know. I just don't. Please don't 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 tell me that this is what it is. It's time for you to shed. <laughs> the magician sheds. Okay, he uses his resources, his tools, his little magic wand to become something new. And to become something new, he has to shed the old. So this is what this is. You need to find the strength, the resources, every whatever it takes to bring success to your life, to be happy, to heal, to to manifest. You have the power, but you have to find it. You have to take action. You have to use that magic wand to evolve. Mental turmoil, the world again reversed. So we have the world twice reversed, a feeling of emptiness, feeling lost, feeling incomplete where you're at right now living in a space of mental turmoil because you're afraid to step outside of your comfort zone. Again, she's got a mask on. You know, it's comfortable here. It's safe. I'm very safe. I'm safe right where I'm at. So if I just stay here hanging on to whatever this is that doesn't even serve me, if I hang on to it, at least I'm safe and I can say that, you know, I'm happy here, but somebody's not happy where they're at, even though they may be saying they are. It's comfortable. It is. It's what you know, right? It is. It's what I know. I'm comfortable here. And, you know, you may be called to step outside of your comfort zone and use that magic wand and make some changes in your life. Because right now, somebody is at a loss with that world card reversed with where they're at. A new chapter wants to begin. It's on the horizon. But you have to take action. You have to take the step and let the universe or the world know that you're ready to step outside of your comfort zone and take that mask off. There's a lack of balance and harmony wherever you're at right now. And somebody's afraid to take that next step. Afraid. Don't I don't want to be naive. I don't want to be taken advantage of. Afraid to take a risk. Afraid to fly. But it's time to be practical and find that backbone that I always talk about to go down this new path that is looking at you. It's time for you to do the right thing for you, the practical, responsible thing. Start over whatever it is you got to do. Stick with this. Don't give up. Stick with it. Whatever it is that you need to manifest or that you need to change, start it. Take baby steps and follow through. Invest. <laughs> Invest time and effort and be patient and things will be get better really fast. But lack of action is only, is only going to stall this whole process. And it's not practical. 
somebody is stubbornly holding on to something that isn't love, okay? It's not love. This is monetary, materialistic, okay? Or whatever it is, tangible. And that needs to end. Yeah, it may be a title. It may be, you know, maybe you, maybe whatever it is. It may be something you can touch, but it's not love. It's not emotionally fulfilling. And you deserve love. You deserve happiness. You deserve true love. And with endings, bring new beginnings. Death, okay? Because so, here we have, look at this. We have the Page of Cups reversed, the Page of Cups upright. Then we have this death card. With endings, with the ending of a situation that is not love, no reciprocation, whatever. You let it end, you have a, you have a new offer. Maybe this is self-love, it could be. But this is a welcome message of love that arrives after an ending. This card was the last card they down. It's after this ending. But right now, you, you are in a situation that is one-sided and you deserve more and you don't even know what you deserve, right? Is that the story? You need to, you need to restore your hope. You need to restore your, your, oh, dreams okay follow your dreams it's time for renewal it's time for healing it's time for you to receive a blessing it's time for you to have that peace of mind that you deserve okay and in order to get that something needs to end and it has to do with some sort of addiction codependency whatever it is it's a lie the devil only brings lies, okay? Nothing solid. So I feel like this is a week of, of walking away, saying goodbye to something, I don't know what, leaving this situation, whatever it is. I don't know what it is. Turning your back on something that is not emotionally fulfilling, whether, who knows, it could be so many things. Not going to fight for this anymore. I'm not going to hang on to this anymore. I'm not going to be bound against my will to whatever this is. I'm breaking the chains because I deserve this blessing. I deserve this healing. I deserve this peace deserve so this is a week of wish fulfillment of you receiving a blessing a blessing from above a healing you know a renewal a new opportunity for stability worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Be patient. Allow what needs to die, die. Okay? And everything will change for the better. You will have wish fulfillment. But this is the week where you Take action with that magician card. That's take action to bring success to your life. Somebody has not been putting in effort to move forward. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. Somebody hasn't been putting in the effort. And that's all over here in this reading. There's an opportunity for wish fulfillment if you put in effort and decide to move forward in whatever it is you know you need to let go of. Whatever it is, I don't know. As far as new love coming in... After you let something end, there is a transition that brings a new offer. Is it going to happen this week? No. The transition is this week. Part of the transition is this week. Maybe two months down the road or two years down the road. Maybe the next two days you go through this transition, whatever it is. 
Death is transition. It's transitioning from one phase to the other. We have the world card both reversed twice. It's needed. But somebody is hanging on with the hangman and holding on. We already went through all this to something that is no more. And it's a time of healing. Allow it. Talk to you later, Aries.